Hi, Russell from Voice Recognition. Uh, .com.au here again. Uh, a quick reminder of how to use the digital voice recorder with Dragon, naturally speaking, speech recognition software. So there's some steps that we go through to import it into Dragon and run it through the user profile. Now you should already have set up the user using our other uh, training video. And if we did some on-site or remote training with you, you would know how to do that. You've got to write, get the user to read that uh, special training text and then process it through Dragon. You should already be at that step. Now you just do, uh, make a recording. So uh, let's say that the uh, Dragon user has already made the recording. I'm just gonna read something from the ABC website. Roger Federer has lavished Leighton Hewitt with the ultimate send off from All England Club, comma, saying the baseline warrior showed a generation of champions how to master the art of modern day grass court tennis, full stop, new paragraph. Bidding for a record eighth Wimbledon crown, comma, Federer hailed Hewitt as a grass court pioneer who deserved to be remembered for the open quote, unbelievable, close quote, impact he has had during his 17 year professional career, full stop. So I can keep dictating. I'll now import that into Dragon and show you how to do that. Once the uh, doctor, lawyer, whoever's made the recording has dictated into it and make sure that it's in the right mode, which is DSS mode, and they're dictating fairly closely up. They've made the recording, you simply plug it in. Uh, I'm just gonna plug that in now. And Windows will recognize that as a um, normal sort of USB memory stick type device. Uh, simply grab the file from it, I'll open that now. Now you can use the Olympus DS uh, software for this, the ODMS software. However, in this instance, I'm just gonna grab the raw file and this is the one that I just made. 95 and all I do is drag it up here. Now it's already set up for the user and it will automatically start transcribing it quite quickly, much faster than it was originally um, spoken if you've got a fast computer. Now we need to make the corrections. So we wait for it to finish. Okay, so how do we make the corrections? First thing is if you've had training from us, you'll already be set up with the correct options. And those options are under tools options we want it ticked like this, all the boxes ticked here, through here. Now we want enable, double click to correct, and we want automatic playback on correction. That's absolutely critical. You should already have that because you've already had training from voicerecognition.com.au. And we just check it for errors. Now what we can do is we can highlight sections. We can right click, we can play it back. Roger Federer. We can correct it immediately if we know it's wrong by selecting correct that, and that will train the software. Roger Federer. Now, all we need to do is type in the change, and you can do it quite quickly. Hit enter, that's it. You've trained the program, it's more accurate. If you'd just gone along, highlighted the word itself, and typed over it, it doesn't teach it anything. You're not improving the accuracy for the user. Now, you can also double click the correct if you think you know where it's wrong. Lavished Leighton. Lavished Leighton. Hit enter. It's got to be exactly Hewitt with. Hewitt with. So it's having a bit of trouble with his name, but by correcting it, I'm teaching Dragon about how, he's, how this person speaks. Hewitt with. In this case, me, but it could be anyone who's trained on the software. Okay, so as I said, you go along. Um, if you're not sure what it is, you can highlight a whole section. Right click, play that back. Saying the baseline warrior showed a generation of champions how to master the art of modern day That's grass fine. Court. But if you know what you're doing and you've you know, got some experience, you can just double click on the word. There's federal, that's going to be uh, Federer. Federer hailed Hewitt. All right, so that's not bad. It's just the first part of the word. Enter, done and you're, you are consistently improving the accuracy during this. So this is a critical factor. Yes, it takes time. You're investing in the accuracy and you're also building the vocabulary. Every time you type in a new word, it adds it to the vocabulary. Um, double clicking to correct. Training for his Wimbledon. I didn't really do a great job with that, um, but anyway. There we go. I don't need to, I often don't need to fin need to finish typing. It'll just come up. I just double click on it. That's all you need to do. Once you've done with that, you can copy it. Control A, copy it. Um, 
send it to or paste it into any other format, Word, Outlook, medical practice software, legal software. You can also save it as a rich text file and you can open it with Word later on. But there, that's basically it. Select sections that you want to play back, right click on it, play it back. It's really every point from the baseline full stop to hinder when we're done. And double click on the bits you want to change. Type in the change or select you want. Select the section you want. Right click, correct that. Quite unbelievable. And there it is. That was an easy one. Double click. And that's how you do it. If you've got any more questions, visit our website, voicerecognition.com.au or call us on 1300 255 900. Thank you.